Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. So friends, in today's session also, I am going to show you one real-time troubleshooting in your production environment, which you guys are facing on a regular basis, guys. And this question has been asked multiple times in the interview as well. So the question is, guys, that if you are working with NFS server, right? And from the NFS client, when you are trying to mount a directory and your mount gets fail, guys, then in that situation, how you are going to troubleshoot the issue? So I am going to show you in front of you only, guys. But if you want to know that, guys, how to configure NFS server and NFS client, then please go ahead and buy my 100 days of IT corporate bootcamp. There I have explained everything in detail guys in rhel9 right and guys one more thing if you are new to this channel then please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification guys so let's start the session guys so friends here you can see that when your nfs mount fails means just try to understand with this diagram this is your nfs server uh, as you can see this is the your nfs server which i have already configured right and uh, i have given uh, the ip range in the export as file that is 192.168.72.0/24 right and this is my nfs share slash srv nfs share right and the same thing this nfs share i want to export to this nfs client that is 192.168.72. One here I have given just an IP one, so you can take uh, any of the IP uh, wherever you want to mount this NFS share into your NFS client, guys. It's totally uh, depends upon the IP of that particular VM, right? But just try to understand here that whenever you are trying to mount this share slash SRV NFS and slash share, right? So you are going to get in this nfs client mount fail means here also you need to create a directory and that directory you are going to mount on this nfs share that is slash srv nfs slash share so let me show you how exactly you need to troubleshoot this issue guys so as you can see that this is our nfs server okay i have uh, uh, just uh, renamed it over here so it will be easy for you to understand this is your nfs server and this is your nfs client okay so in nfs server as of now you no need to do anything you have already configured the nfs server so this is your nfs client so this nfs client could be any machine guys it could be your uh, uh, jenkins machine it could be your uh, tomcat machine it could be your nginx machine right wherever you want to mount this particular nfs server share into this nfs client which we face on a regular basis in our production environment guys so let's come over here so the first thing is being a like if you are working right so somebody has given you a task to mount a normal directory into a nfs server so first you need to detect the nfs share which share just now i have shown you in the diagram that is slash srv nfs share this is the exported share from the nfs server so this one you have to detect in your nfs client so for that what is the command guys show mount hyphen e is the client and you need to give the ip of your nfs server 192.168.72.0 214. So you can see that this is your first task to do, to do and to check your NFS server share drive. So this is the exported directory and this directory you need to mount with the IP. Obviously with the IP into your this NFS client. So for that you need to create a directory first. Right. So let's create a directory and let's try to mount this NFS share right uh, that is slash srv nfs share into that particular directory and let's see what issue we are going to get in front of you only i am going to create a directory called splunk data this is a very simple and easy task but it can be a tedious task when you don't know how to troubleshoot right so yeah so we have created the directory guys now how you are going to mount so the normal command is very simple and easy just use a mount command okay and the same thing mount hyphen a also you need to do but in this case 
you need to make an entry in the slash etc fs tab file so better rather than doing a temporary mounting let's do it a permanent mounting so i am going to slash etc fs tab file so here you can see already i have commented this one the same thing for you okay so i am going to uncomment this one this is the share and this is the ip of your nfs server 192.168.72.214 and this is the exported directory right the nfs share and this is the directory just now we have created a splunk data and the file type we are using nfs and default and 00 okay so just make a write and quit right what is the next step you need to do now you need to mount correct the same directory which directory the splunk data on this nfs share so i am going to use a mount hyphen a command right you can see so guys you can clearly see when you executed the command mount hyphen a it's in hung state okay but you need to wait for the error don't do a control c or anything please i am especially instructing you please don't you don't use any control c otherwise you won't be able to troubleshoot you won't be able to know what is the exact issue so friends you can clearly see what issue we are getting we are getting connection refused that is what i was telling you and the same thing i have written over here whenever you try to mount your nfs share into your nfs client and it's get fails so the error will be like access denied or connection refused right so how, what all the troubleshooting steps you need to do so let's i'm going to skip this one as of now because i'm expecting my nfs server is running why my nfs server is running because see just now when you run this command show mount hyphen e 192.168.72.214 so it's showing the exported directory means if it is not running only then you won't be able to see the exported directory right so as of now i am just skipping this one and i am going to the next step what is the next step guys just try to ping the nfs server from the nfs client so so the first step is guys i am going to see whether my nfs server means the machine the virtual machine itself is running or not i am not talking about the service i am talking about the server this is the first step remember in any troubleshooting ping command you need to see okay so i am going to do 192 dot 168 dot 72 dot 214 okay so you can see the machine is reachable from your nfs client means there is no problem with the network connectivity there is no problem with the server issue right now the next step is i said right show mount hyphen e command you need to run and you need to give the ip of that nfs share okay now let's do it let's run the same command this is the command right let's run the same command okay so if you are running this command guys show mount hyphen e and the ip of your nfs server now understand from here earlier we were we were getting this the share directory that is what i just wanted to convey over here and now we are not getting the share directory the exported directory which we have exported right from the nfs nfs server right so this means your nfs service is not running but but if you still want to make sure more okay for your troubleshooting skills so what is the next thing is you need to check the firewall rule whether your nfs service is added to the firewall or not so let's see this one guys so by running firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen list hyphen all so once you run this command sorry my bad guys this firewall command you have to check in the nfs server guys so you have to execute this command in the nfs server so let's execute this one so here you need to check the next thing is that whether your nfs service is added to the 
firewall or not so it's clearly that your nfs is added to the firewall in the nfs server so there is no issue with this step at least okay so your nfs service is added also you can check with this command whether your firewall d is running or not my friend okay so let's execute this command in your nfs server okay so i am going to execute this command so you can see your firewall d service is also running properly up and active right so you have troubleshoot with each and every step you have checked with the ping command your server is up or not okay your it's reachable or not right you have verified also that when you run the uh, command show mount hyphen e but you are not getting the share right and you have also verified the firewall settings also that it's properly configured so only which thing is pending which is clearly indicating that when you are trying to run the show mount hyphen e and you have given the nfs server ip but you are not getting the share the exported shared directories means your nfs service is not running so for this just check the status of your nfs server might be it got stopped right so you need to see whether it's running or not my friend so let's execute this command that is nfs server dot service okay so once you run this command it's clearly indicating that your nfs service is not running it is inactive right so this is how you can troubleshoot guys and now let's start this service and so now run the command called show mount hyphen e 192.168.72.214 so guys you can clearly see now we are able to see the exported directory again why because we have just started our nfs service right you can see now it is active and running here correct so we are able to see the exported directory and now you try to mount mount hyphen a so it got mount properly and if you run the df hyphen h command you can see your nfs share which we have exported and we have mounted where in the slash splunk data guys so guys this is how you can uh, troubleshoot the issue whenever you are facing nfs mount fail issue in any of the client doesn't matter it's any of the server and this you are going to face 100% i can guarantee on the, this one guys so guys i am ending up the session here only thank you for watching this video for more videos like this just don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification guys just do take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind